Hello everybody, I'm Jason Martin from Speedway Motors and Eagle Motorsports. Today we're here, we're going to discuss a little bit about some of the new rule changes that a lot of you I'm sure have heard about. It's got some new bars that we've added to our supply that you can have access to and be able to adapt your current chassis with little or no pain. So what the current rules have come out, so most of the 410 series, the Knoxville Raceway, the Outlaws, the All-Stars, and I'm sure that more and more are gonna start tagging on to this rule change, is uh, basically what they've done is they're trying to narrow up the span between the rear cage upright and the front cage upright. So what we've done to meet their rules is we've added this extra bar in here and, and we sell these separately so you can just buy this bar if you want to buy this bar and take it to your local weld shop or, or do it yourself um, you can just put that bar in there and the rule states that it has to be between 15 and 20 inches from this point to back here so this is like 17 inches i believe is where this is at um, so it gets it right in the middle and it narrows up the span so that this doesn't try to collapse as easily whenever you get into a crash or get into the wall or what have you. So for the right side, you can do that. Um, that's, that's real easy, stays out of the way of the driver's elbows and your body panels can conform to them pretty easily with a simple little notch around it. it doesn't seem to make too big of a change. Um, one of the biggest things with the left side is going to be that the current safety cages are all going to be inch and a quarter 065 or 058. Now the new rules have stated that they have to be inch and 3 8 083. So if anybody already has a safety cage welded on the left side of their car, you're going to have to cut that off and you're going to have to add a new one that's the inch and 3 8 diameter. So with that being said, there's a, there's a brace that has to go in here and the rules state that it has to be braced from above the shock tower crossbar to that 15 to 20 inch range. So you've got to add a brace from here that goes up to the top rail between that 15 and 20 inch range. So this is a real easy add-on. Um, a lot of guys don't run safety cages already. It's, a, it's an easy add-on if so. If not, uh, you just gotta have it cut out and, and weld the pieces back in. So we wanted to try to make this as easy and painless process as we could for, for all of you guys. Uh, you can get on our website, speedwaymotors.com, and search for these guys. If not, look in the links below, and they'll have the part numbers and everything in there, and you'll be able to click right on them. And um, take these and get them welded on your cars and get up to date with the current rules.